Pizza. Let's go. Hey, Crock Posse, and welcome back to another edition of Cooking Chris's Dishes with the Good Old Boy, where we're cooking up dishes straight from recipes that crock.com which is my beautiful wife's cooking blog that has well over 500 recipes and rising. And today is another, what I like to call, Mikey favorite. <laughs> See, my wife was talking about making a new, different kind of uh, pizza recipe. She's got a lot of different pizza recipes on the site. Pizza soup, crustless pizza, all kinds of pizzas. You can even, even I think, check over at, uh, at uh, Goodness Gracious and mm -hmm. find pizza recipes there. Yeah. And then she made a pizza recipe for the blog and I did not have any of it until the next day she packs me a little bit in a little container and I take it to work with me and I got late in the shift I totally forgotten to eat and I finally looked up and went oh I've still got some pizza I think I'll eat it I went and heated it up came back and it was gone in 30 seconds that stuff was amazing I'm about to make it for you now I personally have never made this recipe so there's going to be a lot of direction from the director's chair on exactly what I'm going to do but I'm going to guess it has to do with pizza ingredients yes. and it goes a little something like this you need uh, four ounces of canned mushrooms drained also I uh, believe half a cup of chopped green bell pepper also a fourth cup of parmesan and and then you're going to have a pound of a uh, ground sausage, breakfast sausage, mm -hmm. ground up. And then you're going to divide that where you will have uh, about a half a cup that you're going to use first and then you use the remainder later. And? And then a small can of olives drained and two cups of shredded mozzarella cheese. And? And a two biscuits. of the big biscuits. I think there's eight in there. Yep. How many ounces is that? It is 16.3 ounces. Do not use a different size of biscuit. Use the big biscuits. I prefer the flaky biscuits mm -hmm. to the other kinds. They're just grand. Yeah. <laughs> but if you change the size of biscuits, <laughs> She likes the lid if on. If you change the size of the biscuits, just make sure that you um, you use enough to get the same amount of ounces because the the amount of biscuit yes. dough matters. So if you cannot find one that says that it's sixteen point three ounces, try to find one that says a pound and three ounces. You're funny. And another um, note that we need to make: we are making this for the very first time on camera in the casserole crock. I have made this recipe a total of six different times, all in regular cast or regular six quart crock pots mm -hmm. or my nonstick uh, six quart crock pots. Everybody keeps asking me um, if they can use the casserole crock and so we're gonna test it. So just because you see him using it doesn't mean that we're recommending it. We're actually testing it you're witnessing us test something out firsthand yeah. right now. Now, we know the recipe itself is is really great. Wait, it stop, is. stop. You, in the camera, right there. Look into my eyes. Look right here into my eyes. This is delicious. <laughs> Carry on. Um, the reason we're, we're saying we need to test it in a casserole crock is sometimes when you use biscuit dough or cinnamon rolls in the casserole crock, they don't bake up or cook up as evenly as what other things do in the casserole crock. So we want to test it out before we um, tell folks, yes, we recommend using the casserole crock for yep, this. Yep, yep. So what Mikey's doing right now is he's cutting those big biscuits into six pieces each. And something else I'm going to do um, when we post this video we will have tried it yes. from this crock, and I will leave a comment down below. I'm going to stab myself in the eye with a knife. That would have been great on camera, too. Probably would have got a lot of hits. <laughs> you could even, beyond commenting down below, maybe you could put over the um, video a statement that says, we do recommend, we, thumbs up, we do recommend this, or thumbs down, we don't. Kind of like right before a show that's got graphic sequences, it says, warning. <laughs> do not do this at home. Do not make this in a casserole crock pot. <laughs> or, warning, do make this in a casserole crock pot. Yes. 
Yes. I am taking my biscuits and I cut them in half and then I'm also now cutting them in thirds. So we'll have a, each biscuit has a total of six pieces. You know why? Because why? she told me to. <laughs> Other than that, I don't know. <laughs> but all I'm going to do is chop these all up real quick. In fact, I could probably stack them and cut them like that. Now, Mike yeah. is going to spray down his uh, casserole crock with cooking spray uh -huh. once he gets those cut up. If you happen to have a browning slow cooker and you use it to brown that sausage, you don't even need to do a cooking spray. You can just leave it oil, not not pools of oil, but just the, the oil that's left after you the dump residuals. everything out. And then that can be your greased crock pot if yep. you want. But this is not a browning casserole no. crock pot, so I am going to spray it down. And now that I got that done, now what do I do? Now you place all your pieces in the bottom, spread them out a little bit. You don't want them all stacked on top of each other. Okay. So just like this. Yep. It's real special technique. Yeah. It's called flinging. <laughs> fling them in there. If you see a couple getting too close together, be like that chaperone at a high school dance. Ah, separate. <laughs> separate. I was one of them dancers in high school. Where are you now? I don't know if you call me a dancer, but I was always like this. <laughs> Actually, I was staring at the ceiling because she was just looking at her eyes. So... <laughs> Really? I don't know if y'all know this about me or not, but I don't have that many dance moves. <laughs> I actually hurt my knee one night doing the running man. That tells you how bad of a dancer I am. Oh my goodness. Now, if some of them touch, it's fine. They're going to all bake in together. <coughs> so. You just don't want to mash them all down in there. No. I'm just trying to fill in the spots that have room. Just a handful left. That'll go there. That'll go there. This one looks like it'll fit there. This one goes right here. This one right here. <laughs> You're being and very particular. That one right there. Okay. Perfect. All right. Right? So, yes. Okay. Now you want to take your half a cup of ground sausage and just sprinkle it over the top. This is going to give you kind of almost a stuffed crust version Ooh. of your pizza. So like the sausage is gonna bake down into the crust, <laughs> and and that. to help solidify that relationship, we're going to add a fourth of a cup of Parmesan cheese. Voila! Just over the top. Yep. Just sprinkle it on there. Oh, I just realized it you don't like have it's your. snowing. You don't have your pizza sauce, dear. Oh, I'm gonna need pizza sauce. Oh, we forgot. Ain't no we in this. You tell me how to do it, but you'd have thunk, and I'm sure there's some out there going, where's the pizza sauce? Okay, over on the other, not that, over there, I was emptying a bottle of pizza sauce into that. That needs to be eight ounces total. Okay, well, that's four ounces. Okay, so that was emptying. I'm sorry. Your prep person didn't do good prep. Uh, I'm You're like, fired. Am I going to get fired? You can just, oh, 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 Lordy, oh, oh. oh. <laughs> There's a reason why she's the prep person and not me. Why I could just commit a murder on camera. Um, if you still need more, there's another bottle behind you. Okay, but... Wash your hands. <laughs> My goodness. We're taping three new recipes this evening. But This is the first one we're taping. It's, you ought to see the mess we're going to be in on the last one. But we've already, we've taped two other shows today. Yes. And two, three videos yesterday. Yes. We're trying to catch up from vacation. Yes. You know, after we get done with all this, we're going to need a vacation. <laughs> all right. So, in other words, you want... A cup. A cup. A cup of pizza sauce. Which is just about there. And you're going to drizzle that on top and then use a spatula to kind of spread it out. Yeah. I should have worked in the pizza industry. We're doing a good job. Right over the top like 
Mm, that's good. And I'll get my spoonchula. Clean up my mess too. I'll sit here in a minute. Parsley. I'm not done. Partially clean up your mess. Oh. Well, my belly was gonna get on the counter. I didn't want to get all over my new shirt and my new crock posse shirt. All right. There we go. We're smeared. Okay. All right. Now, it's just like putting a pizza together. Let's put the sausage down first. Just like that. Yep. Spread it all out like you would a deep dish pizza. Then your mushrooms and your bell peppers are next. If you don't like mushrooms, you don't have to put them on. If you don't like bell peppers, you don't have to. Think of it like this. Whatever your favorite pizza topping is. Yes. If you want a big old thing of sardines, go nuts. Yes. All right. Mushrooms okay. are applied. Peppers. All right. Now, I like to put my cheese on next and then put the olives on top so people can pick off the olives if they don't like them. Um, you want me to use this whole bag? Yep. That's a lot of cheese. Yes. That's my kind of pizza. That's two cups of shredded mozzarella. Or as they say it in the home country, mozzarella. <laughs> my family's from Kentucky, so uh. <laughs> they call it mozzarella. That white cheese that goes on top of a pizza. All right, now our cheese is officially on a pizza. All right, top with your olives. Hey, honey. What? All of me loves all of you. Oh my goodness. Are you going to tell them about the olives at the restaurant? So we go to Disney World um, last week, or this past week, and uh, we go to an Italian restaurant that we had reservations for. It was getting all fancy. We ain't really that fancy, but we go to Disney, we kind of fancy it up a little bit. And this joint had... This joint, oh, <laughs> word. Tells you how fancy I am. This place had really cool bread they brought out of course they bring out like any italian restaurant will they bring out like a little plate of olive oil and on the plate with the olive oil and the bread were these six giant berries i didn't know what they i didn't know what they were they were green anything green i was told not supposed to eat till it ripened up and so the waiter comes back around i said excuse me sir what are those what those are olives like, oh well, okay we supposed to eat them? He's like, <laughs> and he looked at me like if you were to ask me if you were holding an apple, am I supposed to eat this? He's like, well, well, well yeah. Like, he I was felt nice. so silly. He, oh, he was he nice was about it. Nice. But he just kind of looked at me weird like I was from another country or something. And well, they, I, I bit into it. <laughs> And it was a, an olive off the tree. And I don't know if they do anything to treat olives. I don't know how olives are prepared. But I bit into it. And it was the best tasting olive. It was fresh. I guess Disney has their own grove in Italy where they grow olives just for Disney World. And they get flown in. And I took a bite of it. And the best way for me to describe it was the best black olive dipped in butter. <laughs> and that's just the way their olives tasted. It was so good. So knowing I was going to have black olives on this pizza, it was really good because it brought back a very nice memory. Hmm. Now what? Okay. Now we're going to put the lid on, and we are going to cook it on low for three hours. All right, which also means get this out of the way and show no, them people. Don't clamp, you don't clamp it, dear. I'm not cooking it right now. Okay. All right. I'm just getting it out of the way. Okay. And as clumsy as I've been, I yes. figure I better leave a lid on and lock it. I'm going to wash my hands real quick. Okay. And I will show you the final product. Let me get this stuff out of the way. 
And you'll notice, again, a piece missing out of... Oh, yes, because we had I had it for dinner. Well, here's what we figure. If we're going to be cooking all these dishes, we might as well eat them, so... Yes. And she made her she ate her dish I made I ate my dish yep. and then we both devoured a, a little piece of cheesecake that we made for the blog too <laughs> so if you haven't seen that yet watch out it's coming that was good but since too. I've had dinner I'm just gonna take a very small piece right there looks good and look at that it doesn't fall apart no. at all now that has sat Pizza. Pizza. <laughs> you want to leave it and let it set for about 10 20 minutes after it cooks and then just like you would a deep dish pizza where you wouldn't cut right into it or it'll start falling apart right. so um but yeah let it, everything kind of set up a little bit yep yeah, it sets up leftovers of this fantastic <laughs> hmm. i always describe it which people might find to be weird as if you if you don't think of it as weird but like biscuits and gravy without the gravy so sausage and biscuits mm -hmm. with pizza on top it's That's, like two comfort foods together you know i can see that because with those biscuits they're sweet mm -hmm. they got a sweetness has, to them it has a and of course it does bubble up it rises real big after it cooks up mm-hmm and that cheese melts, I mean the parm melts down into the sausage, melts down into the biscuits, then the top cheese melts all down into everything, kind of holds everything into place. And that is seriously good pizza. If you like your crust a little sweeter, I recommend those biscuits. Um, those toppings right there, I mean like I said, you can use any toppings you want. Bacon would be good, pineapple and ham, mm -hmm. chicken and ranch dressing. You know, you, you think of the different toppings that are in a pizza, Right. Make whatever you want. This is just the, the the biscuit is the base for whatever you want to do with it. Right. But I, I totally agree with putting the Parmesan cheese down because as the biscuits grow together, mm -hmm. the parm is going to melt down into it. It helps create a crust. And it, it, it holds it together like a family. Yes. It's very, very good. Mm -hmm. We've had lots of readers who've already made it. It's been up on the blog for a little while. Lots of readers have already made it. And yeah. we keep getting really great. Um, responses a lot of good that. feedback by that and yeah. I can see why because that's that's probably yeah. your better recipe you've got a lot of great recipes on there yeah that's one of the best ones up there I seriously like that recipe yeah um, but again we want to thank you guys for watching another edition of cooking Chris's dishes with the good old boy and if you have not become a member of the crock posse all you got to do is raise your hand high and repeat after me I will Click the subscribe button and then do it. That's all you got to do. Go down there, click the subscribe button. You become a member of the Croc Posse. Uh, you might get emails if you set your YouTube up for it. And we'll tell you all the stuff that we're putting out there. Also, check us out at, of course, RecipesThatCroc.com. And also at Facebook at RecipesThatCroc. On Instagram at RecipesThatCroc. And on Twitter at RecipesCroc. And if y'all keep watching, we will keep cooking. And all will be well. Now, I'm going to eat the rest of this pizza. And then I'm going to invite you, my wife, to a snow dance. <laughs> Bye, y'all.